Hey guys, it's Kavetta. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the big day. The day we came to Cambodia for. We are visiting Angkor Wat. Good morning you guys from CM Reef another full day if you are coming uh, for two or three days I recommend three days at least today you would go to Angkor Wat we were supposed to but you know our lives we just are all over the place so today is just gonna be a chill day we're just gonna walk around look a little bit see what's out there um, and then go tomorrow but i definitely recommend you do anchor Wat at least two days because there's just so much to see i'm not going to do it two days because you know we're all my kids <laughs> my kids are templed out see they're they're messing with me already him but yeah definitely if you're by yourself or you know with another person two to three days to see the entire park is uh, perfect you will not at all see everything in one day so we're just gonna go for the highlights and that's it so today you could do you know Angkor Wat tomorrow you could do it again see the other sections and stuff or go out to the Fulton village that's an option it's like an hour away from here so that's an um, option that you can do or just chill like there's a ton of people at the pool not a ton, but you know, a couple people at the pool just chilling, relaxing, enjoying themselves. So that's, you know, resting. So that's another option. But yeah, definitely at least three days here is a good balance. All right, so we're just passing here. I'm not sure where we are, but figure we'd come in here to look since we're just walking around, checking things out. But it's so pretty. Look at this. Prayer Pramarath Pagoda is located in the central area of Siam Reap near to pub street and the old market it is a functioning buddhist monastery featuring a typical kemar style pagoda a courtyard with statues depicting different buddhist beliefs and a hall surrounded by hand painted pictures containing a giant statue of seated buddha and a reclining buddha The site reportedly has a history dating back to the turn of the 16th century. So we're passing this little spot again that we went yesterday. We came back because, I mean, a dollar shake is life right now, you guys. It is so hot and my throat is so, <coughs> so dry. <laughs> We'd be walking around with water at this point. But yeah, it is uh, so hot out here. But this guy was, his shakes were amazing. So we're getting shakes. I think the kids are getting a passion fruit shake, a pineapple shake. And you just threw like half a whole pineapple in there, right? Like, for real, for real, you guys. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get the mixed shake with all the fruits. Yeah.
Okay, so be sure to buy your ticket before 5.30 for the next day if you don't want to get up too early. But you have to get there by like, you have to buy it after 5, but they close at 5 5.30. So get there at like 5 because they're closed. Um, the, even this, the guard was saying that they were, they were closing at 6, but I guess, you know, they just changed it. But on the website, it does say 5.30 thereabouts. But once, and it's not at the same place as um, Angkor Wat, so it's two different completely places to buy the ticket and uh, to get to the park. So you have to buy the ticket first and then take another 15 minutes or so to get to the park. So keep that in mind. And then once you come buy the ticket, there's this entire market. I'm not sure exactly what this market is called. He, the tuk-tuk job that we took, he did say it, but I don't remember. <laughs> So it's right by right by um, the ticket sales center and you just walk on the street and this is literally what it is just a ton of shopping and I know there's another section over here where I see food and all that so we're just looking around so the temples close at 5 30 I think there, there were some temples that didn't close at a certain time but you still need tickets to go in there so if you want to come the day before, like I said, after 5.30, you can come and just take in the view, maybe the sunset. It's after sunset now, but <laughs> yeah, you can still see something the day before, whatever. You literally can't see anything because it is that dark. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we're dropped off by the tuk-tuk driver and now we're going down to see the sunrise. He said just walk straight and then after the sunrise to come back to him. So yeah, literally. Good morning. So yeah, that was just guys out here asking if you want tour guides so if you want a tour guide there's people standing right there or if you come with a organized store or you know just come see it by yourself so and then the ticket you don't have to bring your passport they do uh, take your picture print your picture on the ticket so if you lose the ticket that's it you have to buy a new one don't lose it Keep your tickets handy because you have to show it at a couple of spots. And I do believe when you're going into most or all of the temples, you have to show it too. So have it handy. It is so beautiful over here, you guys. So after waiting for the sunrise, that didn't show, and Kalel is pissed because <laughs> I woke him up to come see the sunrise, and it's just hazy and crazy. But yeah, look at all those people. Yep, that's where we were. I got some pictures in a little video, but nothing crazy. So now we are gonna walk through Angkor Wat temple while the other ones uh, are going to be opening up soon so yeah just leave a little bit early to beat the crowds that's down there right now to see what's inside goodness you guys it is so beautiful i'm just looking at the intricate work that <laughs> i don't even know how they did this like just look at this wow so angkor wat is the largest temple um in the complex it was originally dedicated to the god vishnu and then it was later 
in the 12th century became a Buddhist. Ooh, look at this. A Buddhist temple. Angkor Wat is a temple complex in Cambodia located on a site measuring 162.6 hectares. The Guinness World Records consider it as the largest religious structure in the world. We are still in Angkor Wat. It is huge, okay? This complex is massive. We just walk in, looking, taking it in. It is crazy. <laughs> And then we're gonna meet our guide, not guide, our tuk tuk driver, take us to the next temple or the next section. I have a list of the ones that I wanna see, so I'll let you know as we go along. Angkor is one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. The park contains the magnificent remains of the different capitals of the Khmer Empire. Alright, so he just uh, dropped me off. He said uh, I can walk through the gate, get some pictures. Kalel sat in the tuk tuk and rode over or rode through with him. I got uh, somebody else that was standing out here, took my picture. So pretty. Just look at this. Yeah, it is. Oh, this pollution is crazy. I mean, it is Southeast Asia, so we're not gonna get, you know, no pollution. But it is so crazy how hazy and foggy it is. Not even fuck, just literal polluted air. All right, so the next temple we're at is Angkor Thom. It's one of the must see on the list. It is not as big as some of the others, but it is impressive. The park is a UNICEFCO World Heritage Site. The park also includes the famous Temple of Angkor Wat, Angkor Thom, and Bayan Temple with its countless sculptures, decorations, and so much more. UNICEFCO has set up a wide-ranging program to safeguard the symbolic site and its surroundings. This temple is Takeo Temple. Yes, it is that. Now I understand why you can't just walk around there. Uh, this park by yourself you need a tuk tuk driver or a tour bus because you will never get to any more of the temples it takes a couple minutes between each temple on the tuk tuk so i can only imagine walking that wouldn't be you wouldn't see anything <laughs> Next stop is breakfast, and of course, when you're on a tour and things like that, well, this is not really a tour, but you know, they have their places that they take you to. If this place is big, so I really, you know, don't know where to stop or anything, but yeah, this is definitely overpriced tourist trap for, you know, the same food that you're getting in town for $2, you're getting here for 5 so it's like way more than double the price. But we're gonna, um, Kale got a sandwich, I just got some iced coffee, and then we'll continue. I'll get something to eat later, because it's still too early to eat for me. Alright, we're done with breakfast, we're walking to the next temple, Tapram. Fun fact, the Tomb Raiders was filmed here. With impressive monuments, several different ancient urban plants, and large water reservoirs, the site is a unique concentration of features testifying to an exceptional civilization. Uh, 
The last temple in the small loop tour is Bante Kadu. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, probably not. But yeah, so you can choose from this small or big loop. The architecture and layout of the successive capitals bear witness to a high level of order and ranking within the Khmer Empire. Angkor is therefore a major site exemplifying cultural, religious and symbolic values, as well as containing high architectural, archaeological and artistic significance. The park is inhabited and many villages, some of whom the ancestors are dating back to the Angkor period, are scattered throughout the park. And then just across the street from the last one that we just did, you find this. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think the video got cut off when I was talking earlier, but after the small loop in one day, five temples, I am pretty templed out. I mean, <laughs> it depends on what you want to see and everything, but that was, this is a lot to take in and it's a ton of walking because their tuk-tuk driver will drop you at one of the entrance of the temples then you have to walk some of them you walk like a good 15 minutes just to get to the temple okay i don't know if it's 15 minutes but it felt like an hour <laughs> so yeah definitely split it up into more than one days if you can or if you just want to see the highlights just do one day and do the small loop i don't think i could have done the big loop because i i don't think I, I have another temple in me right now the good thing though is they're all so very different so it's not like you're seeing the same temple after temple after temple everything everyone is unique everyone is a must-see so it's it's hard but yeah you definitely want to see them but it takes a lot like I need a massage look how shiny and sweaty I am you guys I am and beat like i said i don't think i could do another one right now go home nap relax come back in the evening especially for sunset yeah i could see that happening we'll see <laughs> but yeah i'm done for right now